Um, honestly, I think of a monkey that's on fire. Color monkey makes me think about progress. This is like the cutting edge of programming today. I use a platform for developing applications, and it's developed by uh, Embarco Devo. The cross-platform uh, capabilities that it allows you to uh, you write essentially to the FireMonkey platform and then you can be confident that as we move to other platforms your application will move with I've you. I've created 3D applications, we can develop games, we can develop business applications. You want to come to it with a, a willingness to learn something new and to try new things because it it really does provide a new, new avenues for you to explore and, and so I think it's important to not just try to make it behave in the way everything else that you've worked with behave. Like try to understand where it's unique and, and utilize that uniqueness to, to help you um, build your application fast. Now we provide this uh, fancy animation effects, uh, vector graphics that you know Flash and Silverlight have been providing for a while now you know, in terms of entertainment. But now we bring that into this business industrial application world. The GPUs are readily available. We want to leverage those so that you have uh, high performance UIs that are not taxing the CPU. How fast the fishes swim, um, you know, their swimming patterns, the size, uh, colors, all that can be bound to the data and you wouldn't require any you know, code, lines of code at all. I, I love discovering places and people. It's time to get home, you know, I just crack open a beer and <laughs> relax. Just kind of really excited to see what people make with it. I mean, it's such a flexible thing. I'm kind of interested to see how people utilize the transitions and the animations to build UIs and, and to, you know, find different ways to bring people's attention to particular elements in the UI that might be of interest to them.